Uh, that's all I can do now for minigames, so let's go back to the adventure. Have we encountered this guy yet? Nope. Okay, the snorkel zombie will... The snorkel zombie will go underwater and you won't be able to... to attack it unless it's, um... unless it's eating something. Okay. Walnuts are very useful against these guys. Because, um, when it's eating a walnut, of course, it has to be on top of the... It has to be over water. And that's when it's vulnerable. Okay. That should be good. I was playing my other file on which I have lots more stuff than this, so I have to remind myself that I don't have all of those plants or all of those upgrades yet on this file. So I've started watching Let's Play videos more than I was. Uh, for a while, I just wasn't watching that many. Uh, Catching on up on Cypheron 48's videos, he has a uh, some a couple of pretty funny ones going on. He has uh, he's doing Bomberman Hero, which is, as far as I can tell, a very mediocre game. But his Let's Play is better than mediocre. It's pretty good. Then he's doing DK64, which is always good for a laugh. I don't know if the strategy I'm using is that good, or if other people would recommend it just going straight to repeaters, not doing pea shooters first. It does require focusing a lot of energy on gathering sun very early. I do wish I could record this music, like, with the... Uh, You know, with the, it, the bass part actually audible, but when I record through my external speakers, it doesn't come out that well. I mean, I've done that accidentally a couple of times, and it has not come out well. Okay, I'm gonna need a splash. Can't repel cones of that magnitude. Yet. Okay, I'm going to want to plant some walnuts in the water soon to counter these snorkel zombies. In fact, why not plant one right now? And again, you do have to do some planning when you're dealing with walnuts because they recharge slowly. Not as slowly as some plants, but they're not the speediest either. Alright, almost got my basic defenses complete. Just need a repeater here. And done. Now the rest is probably just gravy, as they say. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? Um, I don't have anywhere to go, so I'm not going to make a costume. But I hope you guys are doing something interesting. I'm 
Too bad HomestarRunner.com isn't doesn't have any new content anymore. Because their Halloween cartoons were usually pretty funny. My personal favorite is the Pumpkin Carvnival. Where Homestar judges, uh... Judges pumpkins. And every time the, uh... Every time the, um... Every time he, he awards someone the prize, there's a he makes a ding noise. <laughs> Except for one when he says he just is so displeased <laughs> with one. He's like, you don't get a ding. I wonder what happened. I mean, I know one of the brothers brothers chaps that they call themselves had a kid or another kid or something but i thought that was a while ago maybe you know they just don't feel like they can take care of their kids and make the videos so you see these snorkel zombies you can't get them unless they are above the water, like I said. Sorry about the farting noises from my water bottle, but when I'm talking this much, I do have to make sure I'm drinking water, otherwise my throat will not feel good. And of course, watch out for these zombies that will spring up behind your defenses, as always. Cheapskate zombies. Of course, cherry bombs are always good for just such emergencies. Now, it would be nice if I could put up another walnut without having to wait for that one to be eaten. Fortunately, at some point in the future, I will be able to do that. This is Tango Kelp. It's the rough equivalent of a potato mine or squash for the water. It works once and it kills a zombie instantly. And I am going to use it in this level. And I'm probably going to use most of the same plants as last time. Okay, I guess no cherry bomb. But uh, a tango kelp is a good way to deal with the one the zombies at the end that just pop up out of the water. Is this good? Yeah. I probably could use three Peters, but they're not... I don't know. They're just not in my repertoire for some reason. I don't tend to use them. I guess I just like other plants better. So at the beginning, if you have a choice between using a potato mine and a squash, as long as you can plant the potato mine somewhere where it will get armed before the zombie arrives, that's probably the better idea since it costs less. And a difference of 25 sun doesn't, isn't really important late in the level when you're gathering a lot of sun, but early it is a difference. It does make a difference. It is significant because you're not gathering much sun. You can see there are three flags on this level, so this is a fairly long level. If you play through Adventure a second time, there will even be some four flag levels, but I don't think there are any on the first playthrough. Really. 
Angle Kelp also recharges slowly, so plan for that. Anyway, uh, Lightning, uh, the Lightning Spirit 78 recently resumed her LP of uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and that I've sort of, you know, was deciding whether or not I wanted to play it after finishing another game that took me a really long time to beat. Um, then after seeing that, I decided, yeah, I do want to play New Super Mario Brothers Wii now. I wish I had people to play with me, but alas, I don't. I, there are some parts that I really think would be easier if I had, if there were multiple people, multiple, you know, reasonably skilled people. If I had a bunch of noobs playing with me, then it probably would not be easier. Oh, another LP I watched, of that game I watched recently, by the way, was the Runaway Guys one. That is really funny. Okay, walnuts are also reasonably good for those guys. Make them jump early. Okay, this is flag number one out of three. As with the graves in the night levels, you won't get zombies just popping out of the water around here until the last flag. And I'm really building up a good amount of money here. I love how the newspaper zombie is, like, angry, and then when he's dead, he just looks kind of shocked. Or when he's destroyed. Wait, so if I, if I destroy a zombie, does it then become re-dead? I've always wondered what re-dead meant, like, in the Zelda game. Why they were called that? Is it like a zombie that has been destroyed and then made a zombie again? I guess we'll never know. Unless, of course, there's some canon explanation for it already. Of which I am not aware. Probably not too much more for me to do in this level. I could add a couple more Tangle Kelp. Of course, complete the wall of walnuts. Hmm, I should have 10,000 before too long. Of course, I'll be spending some of it, or all of it. Okay, flag two. Again, out of three. Good thing pole vaulters can't go in the water lanes. Good thing a lot of zombies can't go in the water lanes. Okay, and in case you're looking for exact numbers, a walnut takes 30 seconds to recharge. I think Tango Kelp is the same.
but you can see from how much sun I have and the fact that the zombies aren't getting through that I'm not having to plant much once I have these defenses up. A couple walnuts aren't looking that good. Uh, listen to all those peas hitting those buckets. Two repeaters in a row will, or in a lane I should say, will take care of even a buckethead zombie pretty quickly. Could replace one of these, but I'm going to wait until... Because none is heavily damaged yet. Other no doubt one will be soon. Like you can see, they. this is just like the first stage of damage. And the snorkel zombie's trying to hide from it. Okay, this one is now heavily damaged. No. Alright, you're gonna get tangled up. I'll uh, just replace everything. I wish you got extra money for how much sun you had at the end. They'd have a lot of money at the end of this level if that were the case. Now the ones that pop up here are just going to get tangled. Like that one. That has too many zombies in it, that way. Please do not overload anything. Bye! Ah, that's what Tango Kelp's good for. Oh, look. Crazy Dave's car key. Welcome to Crazy Dave's Twitty Dinkies, the only shop in the game. Okay, he has only five items at first. He'll get more eventually. This would be very nice, an extra slot, but I don't really need it yet, and I don't have enough money. I do have enough money to get any one of the other things. Um, this is a Gatling P, which is twice as, this shoots, shoots twice as quickly as a repeater. You plant it on top of a repeater. Uh, you plant this on top of a sunflower. Um, when you do that, the twin sunflower will give twice as much sun as usual, 50 instead of 25 every time it gives sun. This kills the first zombie in a level, which gives you more time to build up before you have to start countering them. And like it's, like he says, it lasts for three levels. But I'm going to buy this first. Um, they... So I mentioned that the lawnmowers don't work very well in the pool. They'll look... <sighs> Excuse me. A lawnmower will get like the first zombie... Like the zombie that's really close to your house, and then it won't get the rest in the row. But the pool cleaner will act in water as a lawnmower locks, acts on the ground. So that will plug up a hole in your defenses. Yeah, they're never clear what the zombie process is in this game. At least they just leave you to imagine it. <laughs> Defend your shins. Make no mistake, these zombies can still eat your brains. These zombies are much faster than normal ones. 
Fortunately, they are much less tough. It will only take three peas to bring down a regular zombie of this size. Not sure about a cone head, but... I think they also eat more quickly, I'm not sure about that. And their voices, of course, are higher. As always, the shooters are the plants that are most important in this level. Although the walnuts will definitely help. Okay, too many zombies here. No oh, football zombie. You will often use your cherry bombs on those. Like now. Make sure to defend, to defend the water lanes as well. A good way to use a walnut is to get a bunch of zombies in a cluster behind one and then blow them all up with a cherry bomb. One, two, three. I... There's something... There's some kind of plant that I'm... Like, I don't remember if I'm saving the back row for a reason, or if I just decided to do that and there's no particular reason. I guess his head was already gone. Oh well. You see, even if you just put up a lily pad here, that'll be enough to... That'll distract the snorkel zombie long enough. For the plants to get rid of it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I like hearing their squeaking noises. Okay, got the football sign. Lily pad. A lily pad would be really nice about now. So I don't have to keep using cherry bombs here. That's better. Why didn't I use that one before? Oh, I didn't need to use that. Oh well. I guess there's nothing I'm really saving the back row for. You just keep in mind that the zombies are faster, and if you are aware of that, you shouldn't have much of a problem. This is another one-shot plant. It takes out a whole row. It also clears any ice that's around. 